Hey guys, Eddie Gein here. Due to the overwhelming amount of requests, I have decided to create my own Draw My Life. I was born on August 27, 1906 in La Crosse County, Wisconsin to an overbearing, devout mother and an alcoholic father. It was only the four of us, my mother, father, and my brother Henry. Due to the absence of my irresponsible father, my mother believed that my brother and I were destined to become failures just like him. She became the only authoritarian figure in my life and taught me the evils of sex and women in fear that any erotic desires would cast me down to hell. Every day, she would enlighten me with the teachings of the Bible and warn of the immorality and looseness of women. My mother worked hard to financially support our family and even moved us to a rural farmhouse, far away from the evils of the city and its sinners. Throughout my childhood, I was socially awkward and isolated. I did not have any friends except my only brother. I worked many jobs, mostly as a handyman, but I enjoyed babysitting the most because I found that I related more to children than people my own age. Although my mother often verbally abused me and kept me detached from other people, I believed that her intentions were for my benefit. On the contrary, my brother would occasionally criticize her teachings which always shocked me, for I only saw her as pure goodness. On December 29, 1945, my mother died of a series of strokes, which turned my world upside down. This left me virtually alone since my father and brother had also passed away years before. Out of grief, I boarded up all of the rooms in the farmhouse besides the kitchen and a small bedroom to preserve as a shrine dedicated to my mother. I resorted to the comfort of reading pulp magazines and anatomy books. Call me morbid, but I became fascinated and enjoyed learning about the process of shrinking heads, exhuming corpses from graves, and the anatomy of the human body. My gratification derived from the images of sex and dismemberment, which eventually developed into obsessive fantasies causing a powerful desire for me to turn into a woman. I enlisted the help of my longtime friend Gus, and together we dug up several female bodies from graves to create human furniture and a full body jumpsuit. My masterpieces consisted of a belt made of nipples, bowls made from human skulls, and jewelry made from skin. However, my desire escalated and I felt a need to obtain fresher bodies. My first victim was Mary Hogan, the owner of a local tavern, but my most extravagant murder was that of Bernice Warden, the hardware store owner. I extracted her organs, decapitated her, and hung her carcass in my shed. Her disappearance eventually led to my arrest and the discovery of my beautiful collection. I was labeled as a lust killer and a mixture of a disorganized and organized murderer, but I believe that I did not do anything wrong and barely even remember these supposed crimes. In court, I was declared mentally incompetent and therefore admitted to the Wapun State Hospital where I spent the rest of my life. Hey guys, it's Eddie G. Due to popular requests, I have finally decided to make the do-it-yourself video on my infamous human mask. However, being stuck in a mental institute, it's really hard to demonstrate without the nurses walking around. So I got one of my prodigies, Joyce, to show you guys. Step 1. Obtain a fresh dead body, preferably a female's. Eddie likes his woman smooth and white as snow. Step 2. First we need to remove the lips. We'll save that for later. Step 3. Now carefully make an incision around the perimeter of the face. Step 4. Rip it off! And there you go! This nice piece of art is perfect for exfoliation and whenever you feel like being a female. Check out my next video for what to do with a beautiful pair of lips. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Hey guys, it's Eddie G. Previously in my last video, I promised you guys that I would show you what you can do with a pair of luscious lips. So today, I asked my prodigy, Christina, to demonstrate how to make a beautiful decorative accessory to accommodate your window shutters. Step 1. Obtain your intended pair of lips. We are using the very pair of lips from Eddie's previous video. Step 2. Spritz on a preservative to keep the lips from decomposing. We are using Eddie's homemade preservative, which you can find out how to make yourself by watching his do-it-yourself homemade preservative video in the link below. Step 3. Attach the lips to the drawstrings of your windows and voila! There we have it, a nice creative addition to your living room, bedroom, and wherever else you have windows. Be sure to check back next week for another do-it-yourself video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I was just reading the obituaries, my favorite section in the newspaper. Too bad it was kind of hard to read in this light. So today, I'll be showing you how to make an exotic lamp embellished with genuine human hands. Step 1. Chop off a human hand from the elbow down. Step 2. Shape the hand into a fist and spritz on some preservative. Step 3. Screw in the light bulb. Step 4. Cut off at least one pair of hands and decorate the stand to your preference. Step 5. Place the lampshade on top of the stand. Ah, that's better. Now I can continue my reading. Oh hey look, Mary Jane just passed away. Well, I guess I know what I'll be doing this weekend.